This is a very special discovery. We're getting to come to each other or via the internet and we get to see each other this way. Today, we're gonna do some reading. And the books I have for me, the first one is for our younger friends. This is called Glad Monster, Sad Monster. And this is by Ed Emberley and Anne Miranda. Yellow Monster says, opening birthday presents, playing ball, slurping ice cream, and dancing with my friend make me feel glad. Red Monster says, being bugged by a bug, getting splashed, and being laughed at when I fall down, and having someone knock over my blocks makes me feel angry. Pink Monster says, making valentines, rocking baby monster, baking muffins with Grammy Monster, and hugging, hugging wiggly puppies makes me feel loving. Blue Monster says, waving goodbye, watching my snow monster melt, losing my big blue balloon, and having it rain on a parade day make me sad. The orange monster says, listening to a terrible thunderstorm, imagining what's hiding under my bed, seeing little creepy crawly things, and being chased by grumpy growly things worries me. The green monster says, growling, showing my sharp white teeth, waving my hands in the air, and saying shoo shoo and boo boo, Makes me be very scary. The purple monster says, being upside down, making funny faces, wearing big monster's clothes, and goinking around makes me feel silly. And that's the end. There are a lot of big feelings that we've probably been going through since we've been home. We're probably bored sometimes. We don't know what to do. Parents can't be busy. We probably have times where we're feeling a little bit lonely and we're missing our friends and our teachers and getting to be back at school. And then there's times where we're happy and we're getting to do what we want. We're getting to play with our toys all the time and getting to um, draw and be creative at home and so, this is just giving you a chance to listen to some stories while we're away from school. Um, the next story I have is another one kind of more geared to our pre-K and TK friends. This one is called Incredible You. It's by Dr. Wayne Dyer. This is 10 ways to let your greatness shine through. My goodness, it's a lot of introduction for this book. All right, share the good. There is good in you and in everyone. Sharing this good with others is fun. You have so many ideas inside your mind. Set them free. You are one of a kind. Find what you love. Think of something you love to do. That is your passion, so let it shine through. Never let fear hold you back. Do what you love and you're on the right track. You are filled with love. Your heart is like a magic cookie jar. All the love you need is never far. So reach inside and let that love out and it will come back to you without a doubt. Find a quiet place inside. Life can sometimes be so loud, it's hard to listen when all those sounds Go to a quiet place inside. There your mind can wander or just hide. Make today great. In your life, plenty has happened so far. That's part of what makes you who you are. But don't worry too much about yesterday. What matter is what you do with today. Change your thoughts to good. Some problems are big and some are small. Thinking good thoughts can help you solve them all. You can ask for help with what's bugging you. People who love you can help you decide what to do. 
And something or someone making you feel bad, don't ruin your day by making you sad. Let go of the hurt and take care of you. You can't control what others say or others do. Picture what you want. Pretend you are what you'd like to be. Make a picture in your mind so you can see that what you want can come true. If you believe in your heart, it will come to you. Number nine, everyone is special, especially you. There's something on earth that all people share is the source of all good and kindness everywhere. What is the great mystery you may say? It is the love that connects us together this way. Good thoughts give you energy. Bad thoughts zap your energy. Happy thoughts make you strong and free. It's a choice you make each day, so choose to be happy. That's the way. The end. So for my other friends that are a little bit older, maybe you guys can think of ways that you can let your greatness shine through. If you're at home and you're with your family and maybe you have some siblings, maybe you can play with them nicely so that your parents can do what they need to do while they're at home. Um, maybe you can draw a picture for your friend and you can have your parents take a picture of it and they can send it out to your friend because we're staying at home. You guys can do some virtual field trips and go see other places right now. Um, I know different zoos have um, live feeds of their animals so that you can see them right now. There's um, different things astronauts are reading online. There's a lot of cool stuff that's happening right now because everybody's trying to work together to make everybody happy. So right now, this is your opportunity to figure out how you can be a part of that, how you can be a part of making other people happy too. And I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you next. So until then, see you later.